All right, everyone, this is the second video for the cell membrane. In this video, we'll be talking about this membrane's permeability. It has everything to do with the structure of the membrane and why it, the membrane is basically uh, blocking some things while allowing other things in. So that's the beauty and the magic of the cell membrane. Basically, the fact that it does allow certain materials to go through freely while um, um, blocking others. So for example, things like oxygen and carbon dioxide will get to the membrane as if the membrane is not even there. Uh, cholesterol, fat, all those things will just get to the membrane as if it's not even there. But when you look at bigger things like proteins and polar things like ions, all of these things are blocked from entering the membrane. So the membrane is what we call selective. And again, as you know, it's got hydrophilic heads and hydrophobic tails uh, uh, in forming the bilayer and it's going to be selective in what crosses it. Now let's let's talk about that in a little more detail. As you can see here, the majority of the membrane, that whole red area in the center, is composed of the hydrophobic fatty acid tails, uh, leaving only a small portion for the uh, hydrophilic tails which actually touches the aqueous environment of the inside and outside of the cell like I said in the beginning of the other video. But what that means is that this bilayer will allow hydrophobic molecules to get through but the hydrophilic molecules will not because they will have to get through that crowd of hydrophilic tails and so I think of it as like get, trying to get through a very unfriendly crowd sorry about the warning that should pop up in the back there uh, trying to get through a very unfriendly crowd so as you can see the red molecule which is the polar uh, which is matching the red of the polar head on the left side that molecule is blocked from entering while the, the clear molecules uh, are allowed to gain in, enter through, freely through the extra from the extracellular fluid into the cytosol or backwards. All right. Now that means again, just a reminder that any material that is soluble in a lipid, in other words, anything that's fat, like a cholesterol molecule, like a fat, will get through the membrane easily. All right. What, meanwhile, small molecules and large hydrophobic molecules which are can get through easily so that means large mo hydrophobic molecules like cholesterol and fat will get through and then small molecules such as oxygen carbon dioxide water will have an easier time getting through now water not so much and water does need help but some water will get through the membrane with no problem now Think about this, why would you want carbon dioxide and oxygen to get in through freely back and forth? Because that's very important for that gas exchange between cell respiration and photosynthesis and all of that. So you need the cell to allow those gases in and out with no problem. So for oxygen and carbon dioxide, it's like the membrane is not even there. Same thing for cholesterol, which acts like a messenger, hormones, things like that. They just go to the membrane and the membrane is not even there. So that it allows communication between cells and also gas exchange to be faster. But on the other hand, the polar molecules and the large molecules, oops, sorry about that, the polar molecules and the large molecules will not be allowed to move through the membrane, so, which means things like proteins, uh, which is, for example, what's around the viruses, things like uh, proteins, which are surrounding the cells of, of bacteria, things like pro, uh, uh, proteins and enzymes and messengers all, and ions, which are charged, all those hydrophilic things, glucose, sugar, all those things will have trouble getting to the membrane. What that means is that those things, you are going to have to have a special methods of getting those things to the membrane. And the next video is going to talk about the different methods of getting materials across the membrane. So make sure you review the, st the structure and the permeability videos so that you are on the same page about um, the structure of the membrane and why that structure allows certain things in and while not allowing other things to get in. All right? Thank you.